Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here. I'm coming to you from Bangkok, Thailand. And just had the Masters, so the Masters was a couple weeks ago. And in the final group, the Sergio wins with the claw potting grip. Justin Rose using it. I'm, to my knowledge, I think it was the first event he was out using a claw grip. Um, if you take, there's a lot of tour professionals using this claw grip. So this video, quite simply, can the claw grip help your putting? And there's, there's many different versions of it. Um, I think uh, Chris DeMarco was the first person and he, he kind of was more locking the arm here. Um, the one that the players tend to be using at the minute is kind of more of having a, a pencil grip down, down with the right hand. So I have seen, not only through my students, but uh, actually going to a few conferences, speaking to uh, a few users of like the SAM putting system, uh, somebody that does a lot of putting lessons, and you tend to find, if you've got someone that finds it very hard to control the face, or gets very active with the hands, the claw can be very beneficial. So if you're somebody that does, struggles to start the ball on the right line, or somebody that under pressure feels very nervy, the claw can be very beneficial. If you take um, a lot of the tall pros, playing on very slick greens, so if, if they're feeling nervous or they're getting any sort of feeling of twitchiness through the hands, it's going to cause them massive problems. So I, it, it's understandable why so many players have gone to this grip, especially players that have maybe had periods where they've been struggling a bit. Does it suit every green? One, one, of the, one of my worries with the claw is if you're somebody that plays at a course with very slow greens, you might find that the claw grip doesn't quite help you. You might feel like you can't get the ball to the hole. Um, I, I had a similar experience with like when people were using belly putters. You had a lot of tall players using them on slick greens because it was very much anchoring the putter, stopping any twitchiness, feeling like you can just roll the ball down to the hole. But then if you try to use them, so let's say in England where the, the greens will tend to be a lot slower, they're going to be on the, on the stimp at about 8, whereas a tall green is going to be nearer 11, 12, 13, um, you can have issues because of the green's speed. So if you're somebody that's struggling, yes, I'd definitely give it a go. But if you're going to give it a go, you need to commit to it for at least a few weeks. Because whenever you make a change like this, the likelihood is you're putting might stay the same or even dip a bit before the benefits take effect. So like I said, if you're somebody that's thinking of using the claw, I would be putting a block and I would say in like, if you look at some scientific studies that have been done around putting and looking at performance, you're kind of looking at a six week period and you might not be seeing these benefits until the latter weeks. So if you're somebody that's going to try it, especially someone that's struggling, it's the beginning of the season, Say, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it at least for a month, or at least for six weeks, and at the end of that period, I'm going to decide, has it helped, has it hindered? If, if you just try it for one round, it wouldn't surprise me if you go, well, it feels really weird, I felt really uncomfortable. You're going to need to have a more extended period. And this can apply to anything that you're changing, even if you're like changing to left hand low. You, any of these changes, if you're going to make the change, you've got to commit to a block of time. If you try and do it on a one-off, uh, you're, you're unlikely to see the benefits. And unfortunately, you're not going to see whether the grip or whatever you're changing could have benefited your goal. So if you're going to change, commit to it for a few weeks. But yeah, there's definitely merit in this grip. Face control, feeling a bit nervous, give it a go. Uh, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that's changed into the claw? Especially maybe somebody that was using a belly putter and they're not allowed to use that anymore. You know, they're not allowed to anchor it, so they've gone to this grip. Somebody that maybe uses a, a big, bigger size grip. Are you, are you somebody that's made that change? Um, I made the comment about slow greens and this one maybe not working. Are you somebody that's used the claw and puts on slow greens and has putted really well? I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you soon.